Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Got to do a couple shout outs. My people, Bob and Mary Jo from West VA. I appreciate the love. And of course, probably my youngest viewer, Tara E. She sent me an email. She said, I'm only 17. I know I'm probably not your target demo. Girl, if you're watching these videos, you're my target demo. I appreciate the love. <laughs> it's happened, people. It <laughs> finally happened. Jokahannis, a.k.a. Red Skin Lizzie, a.k.a. Elizabeth. Warren, she is done. She is going <laughs> back to her one one thousand and twenty fourth of a reservation. <laughs> oh, what a clown, man! What a clown! <laughs> oh man, what a waste of time! Oh shit, it's so good to see it happen. She came in third in her own damn state, people. That means her people don't want her back. Her own constituents don't want her back after she got on the the world stage, basically, and acted like a fucking dummy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Everyone, gather around fire. I tell you story of Squaw long ago. We name her... One who lies to Harvard to get into law school. <laughs> oh, shit, man. That's so funny. <laughs> but that's good. Now she can concentrate, you know, on other things. She can go back to her, her ranch, you know, with her horses that have handprints on their <laughs> fucking back. Come on, man. <clears throat> Are you serious? Like this country was ready for a damn Elizabeth Warren. A real commander in chief, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, man. What a clown. What a clown. Who believed that shit? I couldn't believe when Trump dared her to take a fucking DNA test and she said... Okay, I'll do it. Like, what? You know, her campaign was like, whoa, whoa. Liz, don't do it. Don't swab your cheek. That's going to make you look like a dumbass. She's like, nope, I got to do it. And remember that video she did with her husband where she was like, oh, hold on. Let me grab a beer. And then she said, uh, oh, hey, good to see you here. And he's like, what the fuck? I live here. You're damn right you're going to see me here, dummy. <laughs> oh, shit. Ugh, I mean, if she got elected president, like, would they change the the structure of the White House? Like, would it be, like, more rounded with a couple sticks coming out the top? Like, what the fuck? You fake-ass Indian. <laughs> you could have her back. You could have her back, Massachusetts. We do not need her any damn more. Oh, shit. Wow. Elizabeth Warren all done. <clears throat> I think one of my buddies at work showed me that shit. He was like, check this out. I was like, oh, shit. I knew it was going to happen. A couple videos ago, I called it. I said, by the end of the week, I think Liz Warren, I think Jokahannis is going to be finished. And she is. Oh, fuck. When I heard, when he first told me <clears throat> that she dropped out, I couldn't help it that uh, that scene from, I want to say, I can't remember if it's Naked Gun or Naked Gun Two and a Half, but when Leslie Nielsen, uh, I guess some Indians there, and he's saying, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> that shit was so funny. That made me, <laughs> that made me laugh. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Liz, you dumbass, what are you going to do now? You came in third in your own state, so that means you probably won't get reelected. Once I don't know when their election cycle is, but you probably won't get reelected. And to, to be completely honest, she had some good points about uh, the economy, you know, about the, the working class, the middle class, the family getting crushed. 
I did agree with her about that, but all that other bullshit, we must look at reparations on a national level. No, we must not, stupid. Free healthcare, all that Bernie Sanders crazy commie shit. No, you can you can keep that. I got a good place you can put that. But, you know, she was right about the middle class, but that doesn't matter because her ass is not running for president anymore. I didn't even look to see who she's throwing her support behind. Maybe the DNC will force her to throw it behind uh, Bidenist pervertus, or she might have thrown it behind Bernie Sanders. Because remember that debate? She was, you know, verbally stroking his old sack on stage, like, oh, I like Bernie and we're good friends and all this shit. I just think I'd be a better president and all that. So I don't know if she throws her support behind Bernie or if she did, is that a waste of support? Cause you know, the DNC ain't having that shit. Look at how that crazy little bastard. We need that senile old man. Huh? Where am I? That's who they need to be president. Biden is perverted so they can easily control his ass. But speaking of the DNC and their shady ways, now I saw this, uh, I gotta give credit to my man ABL. He's on my YouTube feed and I saw the title and I was like, what the fuck? So when I see these titles, if I see another YouTuber I follow uh, and they happen, they happen to be talking about something interesting, I'll research it myself, do my video, and then I'll go back and watch theirs because I don't want their commentary on it to influence my opinion or everything. I want it to be my opinion. I don't want to subconsciously, you know, say what somebody else says or take their angle, whatever. That's just how I do shit. So I saw this title and it said, Bill Clinton blames his affair with Monica Lewinsky on his anxiety. I said, what? Sure enough, I'll put a link in the description box to it. It's uh, from the New York Post. And I guess there's some documentary that's supposed to drop today on Hulu um, about the Clintons, about Hillary and his affair. And he says in there that, you know, I, I, uh, I liken the presidency to a, a heavyweight fight or a boxing match where you're in the 15th round and you're tired and you're beat up, you're punch drunk, and then they extended it another 30 rounds whatever that means, um, it's a tough, stressful job, okay, um, and he said one of the ways he would <laughs> medicate that was to jump knee-deep in a 22-year-old, the only problem is his wife was not 22 years old, do you remember Lewinsky, I remember when I was on, uh, I was on air at a local radio station, and this was, I don't know, probably like 10 years ago, so this was well after that, but, uh, I used to always say, it's going down like Lewinsky. And I remember my PD, my, pro, my uh, program director, called me in his office one time. And he's like, you probably shouldn't say that. I was like, but well, this shit's funny. But anyway, yeah, Monica Lewinsky, the dress. Ladies, if it happens, always save the dress. Because that's what got him. He spilled his seed on her dress. And instead of her watching it, she's like, you know what? Let me hold on to this, this little keepsake. And that's what got him in trouble. But to blame it on his anxiety... So you fucked the 22 year old? It don't work that way, Bill. It even, said, it even starts in the article, it says he never heard of Prozac. There are no other ways to de-stress. You're the president, man. You could do whatever you wanted. Oh man, I'm stressed out. I, I'm an avid tennis player. Get Andre Agassi on the line, man. Let me go hit a couple balls with him. Or you know what, man, I really, I like to get out there and shoot. You know, shooting guns. It's a good stress reliever. Hey, get the uh, gold medal Olympic shooting team out here. I want to shoot some rounds with them. I like to hit the heavy bag. I like to go on walks. Whatever you like to do, Cook, you could have got the best of the best in the world to do this with, to de-stress. You can't blame you fucking uh, in an intern repeatedly on, oh, I was stressed out. So the only way to relieve that stress was to cheat on my wife. Man, shut the fuck up. You Clintons know no bounds. Your lies, your deceit, and your evilness, your evilness know no depths. Like what do you, and I remember as a kid, this happened in what, about 95? So I was like 15. And I remember when it came out and Hillary Clinton stayed with him. 
And even that at, at that young age, I was thinking, man, that's weak. That's real weak. That's a real good example for your daughter. But no matter what, honey, even if you catch him, sack deep in her, you got to stay with them. You got to do it. Now, <clears throat> I think it was for a political gain. That's why she stayed with them. It was kind of like, all right, now I got you by the short and curlies. You're going to help me climb this political ladder. I think that the only reason they had Chelsea was to become president because you have to have that picture perfect little family. It would have been weird to have just a couple in the White House and not a family. Now, maybe there were presidents in the past who didn't have any kids, but in recent history, all the presidents have a wife and kids, a family to present to the American people. So that's why the only reason they had uh, Chelsea was so they could get into the White House. And the only reason you stay with them is to get in politics, to climb that ladder. Fucking sociopath. But I don't understand how there can be trust unless you didn't care in the first place. If you don't care what they do and you don't care about them and it's a means to an end, then, you know, him cheating wouldn't bother you. But she says how, oh, she was so hurt and devastated and he woke her up. He knew, <laughs> he knew that shit was about to break. He knew the story was about to break. So he went and woke her up one more real quick. She's like, oh, I was in, in a haze. I was just waking up. And he's like, oh, shit. I maybe uh, don't believe her. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I was a little too friendly to her. Maybe I, I spoke to her a little too kindly. But it's nothing. It's nothing. Such bullshit, man. Now, you, you fuckers want to go after Trump? Bill Clinton lied. I remember seeing that. And Mary said, it depends on what your definition of is, is. What? That was the weirdest shit ever, man. I couldn't believe it. Lying to the American people on camera. And you're chasing after Trump over some bullshit phone call that he released the transcripts to so you could see what they were talking about. Man, please. The Clintons are straight dog shit. I want to see some interviews from people in Haiti who were supposed to be helped by the Clinton Foundation, which ain't shit anymore, because she ain't shit anymore. She doesn't have any power. You're useless. Fucking disgusting, man. But it's anxiety. It's like uh, these rich celebrities and shit who get caught cheating and say, I'm a sex addict. Man, shut the fuck up. All men are sex addicts. You kidding me? You get a boner every every half an hour since your 12th birthday. Don't tell me about being no sex addict. That don't mean you can fuck everything that walks when you're married. Split up. Then if it moves, fuck it. But you can't do that when you're married, guys. You cannot do it. And I've heard of people saying, oh, well, you know, they get a uh, proposition more than the average man and shit. It's not like it is for normal people. Yeah, I know that. And... What's the point? You can still fucking break your... You can still end your marriage and then go out and fuck whoever you want. Because <clears throat> it seems to be much more expensive when you don't, Tiger Woods. You think Tiger didn't want to break... We wish he could go back and just break it off. And then he could have all the little waffle shop waitresses he can handle. Instead of his wife chasing his ass in his SUV and fucking his car up with a golf club. And then taking $165 million... You think Tiger didn't want to, wouldn't want to hop in a little time machine, go back and break things off first? I think so. But Hillary Clinton was a money-hungry monster. She was power-hungry. I don't give a shit who you slept with, Bill, but now I'm going to use this to my advantage. Well, I hope he got his anxiety under control. You notice there's no more stories about Bill Clinton cheating on his wife. Why not? Did you cure your anxiety? Or was there never any anxiety in the first place, you pervert? Remember, I think it was at the Aretha Franklin funeral. Ariana Grande, this little teen, teeny bop, you know, tenderoni was up there. And you could see the still pic of Bill Clinton just... Mm -mm. <laughs> just looking at her like, girl, if I was in the Oval Office, <laughs> get out of here. My anxiety. I mean... Do I want to see this little documentary? Yeah, just to see how many lies they're going to continue to spew and how terrible it's going to be. But I don't have Hulu and 
I'm not trying to get it just to watch this bullshit. So I'm sure there'll be some clips on YouTube. But like I said, I'll put a link in the description box uh, to the article so you can see it yourself. Oh, I was stressed out. Well, how come you weren't stressed out and you didn't hop in a 55-year-old? Or you didn't hop in a 42-year-old? No, that wouldn't have cured your anxiety, huh? You had to be young. You had to be. <laughs> she had to be 22 to help your anxiety. Shut the fuck up, man. Let me hop in this damn rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. And don't forget the Jericho Green notification tones. Link in the description box. Just a buck twenty-nine. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.